Welcome back to the Blackout Club. The official full release has now happened in public, so there should hopefully be players out there playing it, and hopefully I can play with some other people. I have voice chat off, which I realized is just going to turn my microphone off. I don't think it would turn off other people's microphones. So we might hear people's voices. I haven't played a game online in maybe five years or more. Uh... I'll cut stuff out if it turns into just, like, people spewing a bunch of racism or whatever. That tends to be how rando play is, isn't it? Uh, we'll see. This whole thing makes me nervous. Not just because of that, but just because I don't like playing with other people. Uh, host a game or join a game? I think if I host a game, I have the power to kick people. So, I don't, I don't want that power. I don't want to be the manager of a mini-server. Let's just join. Uh, oh wait, set for local? Space Cat. Worldwide. Are these all the missions that are happening in the entire world? I mean, mind you, the release was very, very recently. Less than a day, but... Damn, I was expecting more. Oh, and the host level 20, 20, 16, 11. I'm level 3. <laughs> Let's go with this one. Host level 1. Okay, Oh. Oh, this is uh, well, I public. Hmm. So they're not speaking in English, obviously. <laughs> I feel like I was intruding upon something. I don't know. Felt weird. Level 11? Sure. Every everybody's going to be using voice chat, aren't they? God, I don't like playing multiplayer games. Fuck. Why does this game have to be so interesting despite that? Okay. We have club members missing, crime scenes, course, transcript, boy, blah, blah, blah. Evidence is everywhere. Okay. So, now we go here. Whoa. Where's this? Never seen this little camp out spot. I think it's a bonus evidence thing, isn't it? But maybe it's already been found? Oh, shit. I assume bonus evidence you find counts for everybody. It's like server-wide and not just for you. Find missing person. So over there. A flashlight. That must be a lucid. Oh, this is a map I haven't played, right, because they're level 11, so that means they have access to the second map. That's why this all seems so new. Ooh. Inside that building. Oh, there's an open window. Is that the missing person? Creepy enough? Oh no, that's just the body of one of the sleepers. Who killed them? I don't think players can kill sleepers, can they? Bonus evidence recorded 5 out of 20. Oh my god. That's a lot of bonus evidences. What if there's ooh, what if there's just more on this map? Hmm. Thank god the carpet's so quiet they can't hear me. 
Wait, is there more here? Man, look at that toilet. It's here. Oh. It's coming for Space Cat. Space Cat isn't... Oh no, they're moving now. I thought they are AFK. Um, well... Good luck, friend. So even though it points over there... For, uh, where to find more evidence, I think it's just... I'm supposed to look in all of the house now? Shape's gone. I think. Gone? Do you have some sort of ability or something? I didn't know it could disappear. Upstairs. Wait, there is no upstairs. Where's the evidence that I'm missing then? And what is that? Is that like a mine? Oh, uh, let's take a look at it with my drone. Whoa. Yeah, I think that's going to explode if I get near it. Oh, shit. Oh, it fried it. Uh. Okay. Mm. Oh, God. Oh, God. is extraordinarily dirty. Damn, get a cleaner in here. Well, yeah, I don't know what I'm supposed to find in this house. more in this room. This is where it's pointing me. Uh. How long can it hold its breath? Alors, il est temps de résoudre un mystère ensemble. Ou du moins d'aller fouiner et de dire ah Des membres du club ont disparu. Essaye de nettoyer des scènes de crime. Les dormeurs agissent selon un genre de code étrange. Il doit y avoir des preuves partout. C'est juste à nous de They seem to be reading a short story in is that French? Donc trouver et suivre la piste. There, I just turned voice chat to zero. So far, I've only had either no people speaking or people speaking language I don't understand. So, and it's super distracting. I'm just gonna turn it off. I guess I'm supposed to just follow the trail of footsteps going out the door. They lead out this way. Oh, there's the shape. It's coming for me. Oh, yep. Yep. Oh god. Uh, can I go down here without breaking my legs? Yeah, alright. The shape is changing. It changes? Isn't this the old zone that we played? Oh, and you unlock a new zone. It's not like an entirely new map. It's like an expanded map, isn't it? Like, that's new stuff over there. This is not. Um. 
I think other people might be able to save me. Your mind is not your own. A friend can bring you back. I can follow other players. Oh damn, look, the little copters going on their back, like the the uh, blades are actually spinning. You know, theoretically, if you like max those out, that could give you a little bit extra height to your jump. <laughs> Very little bit. Here's me. So when my mind is not my own, what does this character, like, do? Are they, like, a lucid? Okay, I found a couple more servers that are all from level 1s. People that probably just got the game. So this is the map we're familiar up, with. New mission. Court evidence. Oh, they've already gotten two out of three. I think this will restore my stamina. Yeah, look at that. Oh shit, they're being dragged. Uh, their body is doing some weird things. I got you, buddy. Stay down. Stay down. Oh, not in here. Uh, it's up? Ah. Oh, right, it's probably just something in the entire house. Because it's not... Ah, knock it off. Oh, does the character react when you shine in their light? Uh, shine the light in their face? Um, so this was one of the pieces of evidence, but it's already been gotten. Hmm. Could be in the backyard, potentially. Oh, you can pick that stuff up. the heck is that? Mysterious. Sleeper just heard something. Oh! Shit! They came in through the door, yet it was still locked. How is that possible? Mm -mm. Hey, you want to see something cool? Other people can use it, right? Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, I know we've been up here, so it's not that exciting. By the way, if it sounds like I'm talking to them, I'm not. I'm just talking to myself. I'm talking to a theoretical person who is an actual person, but without any actual voice chat. <laughs> Unless my voice chat is somehow accidentally enabled, but I don't believe it is. Oh, here it is. Okay, that part's done. But now what? Okay, now we gotta Good. get out of here. And, um, now we, um... Um... Yeah, it's over here. Let's go. Is this the little cave? Yes. Good job, buddy. 
All right, now that I finally finished a mission, I can see what the friendship bonus is. The team multiplier. What's it going to be? 0.25 addition to it. Okay, so yeah, it doesn't add like an entire one, but still, that's quite a bit. With a full team, that would be... Uh, we can only have four people, including yourself, so at full, that would be 1.75? I think? Gumshoe. That doesn't sound good. Yeah, I think the points you get for evidence are only counting your evidence that you very specifically you found, not your other teammates. Okay. That was better. That was a lot better playing with a low level. <laughs> oh, I'm still... I'm still, like, in a server with them. That's interesting. Like, they woke up woke up next to me, and it says only the host can select mission region, so they have to start it. That makes sense, because if you're playing with your friends, you wouldn't want to, like, you wouldn't really want to do a game and then suddenly just leave them. You could, but, I mean, this is nicer. They're still there with you. They're hanging out at your hideout like your buddies. That's cool. Start new mission. What if they're talking right now? They could be talking. This could just be very awkward for them. Okay, that was awkward, all of that. Except that one mission with the one level one person. <laughs> that was all awkward and terrible for me. I don't like that. This game is not only meant to be played with other people, but also I think it's really meant to be played with friends. People you actually know and people you can communicate with, not really randos that generally don't communicate well. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna try playing on my own. I'm almost level four, which will unlock another region. And when I played with other people on that second region, I saw that there was like 20 pieces of optional evidence to find. So I'm thinking maybe leveling once I get to the next region won't be as slow as I think it will. And I'm also thinking that maybe that multiplayer multiplier for playing with multiple people might not be quite as integral as I thought. Because when you play with other people, evidence they find, but you don't, counts only for their points, not yours. So you're going to collect less evidence points when you're playing with other people. Which means I think that multiplier is probably mostly to make your points more on parity with what it would be if you're playing single player because you're kind of losing out on some of the evidence points. So maybe the leveling isn't like totally wrecked and incredibly slow if you're playing single player. So let's just try it. Host a game. Friend only, which means nobody. <laughs> and we probably only have to do this mission once to get to level four. I'm super Ready? close to level four. Can we please find an evidence bag? Bad guys carry evidence of our last botched mission. Swipe it for us, please. Oh, it's moving. It's on somebody. Oof. I don't want to kick that in. Quiet. I think that's going to make him come out. Come on, come out. Cryptograms, that's new. Oh, they're down below. Remember, lucids are out now. I think that's lucid over there. They're walking very casually. Oh, no, 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 that's bad. Yeah, I think these are the things that keep you from going to the next level. That's the next level up there. Or ex ex I should say expanded level. It's not really a separate level. Uh, 
I went in there. Man, the grappling hook is so cool, isn't it? And if you... Oh! If you're near a thing where you can climb up, it just climbs up automatically. You don't have to jump and hope you make it. Whoa. God, there's a lot around. No one. She will look foolish. Hmm. I don't want to grab him because... I think that's a sin. The shape might come after me. I'm trying to get to the underground. Ah, here we go. There's one. Oh, damn it. Why do I keep doing that? Ah, come back. If it doesn't grab into something, it can just flop around, apparently. No, no, don't do that. Bang. I've never used one of those. I kind of want that box down there, but that thing is like looking right in its direction. So let's not. This place oh. feels familiar. I guess when I black out, I come here. Uh, there's one of them down there. Can I just like. It says steal him, but can I just take a picture from really far away? Whoa. I thought I would go back to the right. Okay. Is there a limit to how much you can carry in your inventory? I don't think I've ever reached one. It's good, right? Okay, uh, that's it. HQ. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. <gasps> oh no, this goes to the bad room. I could try to get optional evidence. Ah, the optional evidence is too spread out. I don't think it's worth looking for it. I think it's something you should really get on the way. Oh. Um. Is that gonna hurt if I jump down there? I think it will. Maybe I can lean to the side. Is that gonna work? It's probably not gonna work. I think it's gonna just fall down. Oh, damn. Oh. But I can't get it back. Ah, that's alright. Oh, Jesus. Oof. Ow. Hmm. 
Oh, there's some optional evidence, right? Or can I... Yeah. Ah! Use a flashbang. Yes! Oh. I went too far. Yeah, it's fine. Ow. It sounds so nasty, but that just barely hurt me. But it sounds like I broke both of my legs. <laughs> okay, this should get me to level four. I'm the best that's ever been. I am. Come on. Hell yes. I like the noises. They're good. They're satisfying. So that's going to unlock a region. It'll probably tell me what I've gained when I come back. Does it? Ah, yes. PowerPoint. New maze. New threat. Speed traps. I thought speed traps were a thing I placed. That's a, a threat, apparently. Hmm. New mission region. New missions. Okay, cool. So, let's go to the new region. Hoadley West, before it was Hoadley East. A series of family homes stands here, nestled against a public park ground maintained by chorus communities. Inventing rumors of monsters in these woods has amused local children for years. Perhaps because in truth, this neighborhood is rated among the safest in Virginia. Record evidence. Break in, friend's house, record evidence for HQ. I'm excited to explore a new place. Oh, by the way, I also spent my two skill points on the, I think it's UFO upgraded drone thing. Uh, basically, it makes it so I can make, uh, I can emit a sound from the drone to act as a distraction. Yeah, press R to UFO. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's adorable. This game has a shit ton of character. Like, it really feels like it's been made with, with love and attention to detail, and it's just funny. Even just the things written around our base are funny. It's a sleep thing, right? I think so. Can I get on top of that? Whoa. Wait, what? It made the rope, but the thing fell. That is weird. Oh, yeah. Oh, what a cool hideout. Yeah, so this is where we started in that one multiplayer game. Bonus evidence. One out of 14. So I guess... Bonus evidence is randomized or something, how much there is, but still way more than the first mission. Or the first region. Just want to explore these little woods. They're cool. Oh, red door. Oh, that's lucid. Oh, distraction. Yeah. Oh, I think that's a speed trap. Okay. I read a little about them. At the base, there's like a little info thing on it. If you move fast, it'll shoot out. But if you move slowly, it won't. And you can disable it. Really? 
I made it come back home and it just, instead of going straight for me, it went towards the enemy. And then they run back and- oh, fuck you. Alright, how about this? This is gonna hurt. Come here. Yes, it worked. Yeah. Bodies can be discovered, so... Just... here? Yeah. <laughs> No one's gonna find him here. Sleep. So if I go slowly, I should be able to disable this thing. It's really cool looking. Oh, I'm so sorry you got hurt, little buddy. So not a huge range on the sound. Yes, remain there. Matter of time. The fear it feels can be cured. Why hide from the love of a cold, just empty space? Drop down. Oh, God, that always sounds so nasty. Uh. Oh, come on. I thought that would make a noise so that it would attract him to it, but I guess not. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, a little fly over. She hears it. Do the others. See if I can get them all out of here. Oh, I can't get out there now. That worked for them, but... They're just going back. It is a child. Mm. They won't believe. Mm, 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 if I mm, mm. she will catch you before the others. Foam grenade. right outside. Oh. Oh, that's bonus evidence. Um, okay, is there an upstairs? Whoa! Shit! I accidentally held the wrong button, so as soon as they came into view, it was trying to pin them. It's not what I wanted. Bandage? Cool. 
I need to keep pinning them. <laughs> No, 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 you get back down. See how you like it. What am I missing? Oh, it's this damn ladder outside. Okay. Oh. File that away. Get kitchen cleaner. Oh, they're bonus okay. things. What's next? Get kitchen cleaner, clean blood. Wait, is that Do that here or over there? If it's a bonus, then I don't have to do it, right? So I can just leave? Uh, I'll follow the thing. supplies Make a sound. nasty ooh you says we part way there so good and um, now we um bag up the dead bird doing some more cleanup blood all over the place. <laughs> Even in the middle of the street. Oh, God. Sorry, little dove. Okay, that part's done. But okay. now what? HQ's got the next uh, step. Oh, that's down here. Oh, that little cave. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Oh, no, we're fine. Hold up. Hold Can't on. believe I only found three out of fourteen. Uh. Alright, hopefully we get more points because we did more objectives. Definitely more XP. Of course, it takes more XP to level up at this point. Junior investigator. Okay, so I just made a pretty big change. I reset my character so that I can reallocate my skill points in the deck, my powers. Because I realized that my little drone is really cool, but it's not that useful. Being able to see around and go scout out a location, I realized not very important. Also, it's extremely cumbersome to use. Gotta take the thing out, and then launch it, and then go around. If you hit something, it'll disable it and you'll have to pick it up. So if you wanna look at something, you gotta either fly it back to yourself, or just leave it where it is, and then hold down left click on the, on the drone remote, and then hold down right click to make it come to you. So you have to hold down like two buttons at the same time while holding the drone thing, only for it to slowly come back to you. And like I thought once I got the other things, like the UFO distraction sound thing, that it'd become a lot more useful. But it doesn't have a very long range, and it's still cumbersome to use, so it's like, hey, I want to distract this enemy. Select my drone thing, launch it, get it over to the right place, play the sound, try to get it back to me, and by the time I finally got my drone back, it's taken so long that the distraction's kind of pointless. It's just annoying to use. It's just not a very good power. So, I reset my skill points. Unfortunately, there's no way to actually do that in-game. Uh, I searched online for how to do that and found, I think, a developer talking about deleting a save file to do that. So that's what I did. 
Uh, the save file contains everything except, like, your XP. So I have to recreate the look of my character, I had to redo all the settings in the menu, and it allowed me to reallocate my points, but apparently your XP is stored server-side. Probably like an anti-cheat thing to make sure you can't just edit your XP to be max level. And now I can reallocate my powers. But that's absurd. Because, A, the drone should be good and not bad like it is, and B, you shouldn't have to do that to respec. Why not just allow you to do that in game? And no, the sacrifice yourself thing over here is not to respec. It just simply resets your character back to level one. Anyway, let's pick something useful. I didn't want to be stuck with a major power that I didn't like. So, forget that. This Click pain channel with your crystalline focus that can protect your body from harm and exhaustion for a short period of time. Become immune to wounds for 10 seconds. Unstoppable. Climb quickly even when exhausted. So yeah, this is just like, keep moving, stay alive. Prank caller. <clears throat> uh, this allows you to prank call a sleepwalker to distract them so they won't be able to hear you if, they're, if they've been called. And to activate it... Get close enough to a sleepwalker that you can maintain a clear line of sight. When you see the on-screen prompt, press R to send the prank call. See, that sounds convenient. It's not like a whole process where you gotta take out a tool and then launch the thing and then make it come back and blah blah blah. That sounds something that's easy to use in the moment. So prank call, that would be very useful. Off the grid. Um, this allows you to shut down security cameras for a few seconds. That's really good. This allows you to prank call lucids. Allows you to shut down things like acoustic mines or speed traps from a distance. And this is your device recovers from usage in roughly two-thirds of the time it used to take. So I think I'm going to go with that one. The other one is like... The other one's fighting. Take down, advance grappling, stay down, brawler. Yeah, I want to go with this. This is like... techy stuff. So let's get print color. And off the grid. And then we have a skill point for a minor power, if we want. I could also just save it for the next major power, but I should probably spend it. Sprint while carrying a human body on your shoulder. Don't care. 10% more max stamina. That's nice. Start the mission with a bandage. That's nice. Energy bar. That's nice. Lock pick. Uh, not... Mm, that's pretty good. Not entirely necessary. If I, especially if I have a grappling hook, because that tends to be able to get me into areas if I can't unlock the door, I can usually go up. Mm. I think if I wanted something, it would be either the lockpick, the bandage. Yeah, just one of those two. Let's start the mission with a bandage. That's what I got last time, and that's a good one. Sure. I drank three sodas and climbed a rope. Uh, once. <laughs> By the way, I've never used the crossbow. What does it do? I'd best not miss. Is it... Hmm. Does it just shoot darts? Like, when you get a trank dart, does this allow you to shoot them from a distance is all it does? So on its own it wouldn't do anything? What? I like heights. Um, hmm. When I take it out, I seem to have like a trank dart in my inventory. Yeah, so I think it just shoots strength darts from a distance, but you also start with one, which is pretty cool. I like the grappling hook, though. I drank three sodas and climbed a rope. Uh, once. Find an evidence bag. All right. It's on somebody. On somebody's person. I can't wait to prank call somebody. I think they're down below. Ooh. Is this like a special way? Oh shit, that's a red door. Oh, I can't get through there. But you know what I can do? Oof. 
<sighs> yeah, it's down below. Actually, I don't need to take that thing out. I can't wait to prank call somebody. There's gotta be somebody in this house. This is going to the right area. Never mind. Don't tell me. So I can prank call him. Oh, it's considered a sin. Interesting. That's a really cool ability, though. Oh, they're welding something. Oh, I wasn't crouched. Oh my god. Surprised that thing didn't go off. Thought I was. Yeah, this is a whole new unlocked area. I've never been here before. Looks like you can only prank call every very once in a while. I think it's still recharging. Like at the bottom left, there's a little red in the thing. I think it's about to be usable. How much damage could children do? Yeah, now it's usable. Oh shit. Is this like... Is this like sound foam? This stuff? It is. Oh no. We are trying! I want to explore this place! Oh no. There, Prinkle. <laughs> I'm surprised the shape isn't after me. Damn, that went bad. But yeah, this place is all acoustic foamed. I want to see what's in there. Um, I gotta find cryptograms. He will catch you before the others. Probably all back in this big room, just like before. No. It's a different room. Hold up. Ugh, I'm wrecked. Oh, that room. That's a bad place to put that, because I'm not going to be able to get it back, am I? Maybe, if my arms are long enough. 
Oh, wait. Oh, oh god. Oh, you can... You can retrieve it, um... Just by pressing... Uh, holding F on the rope itself. You don't have to hold it on the actual grappling hook. Ugh. Oh my god. Damn it. I can't believe that worked. Oh god. Ah! Oh no, they're climbing up here. Yeah, perfect, great, I'll just break my legs then. Like, if I hide, can I actually hide from them? I've got a feeling that I can maybe satiate the thing if I go to the red doors or something. I don't know, because somebody did that in that multiplayer game. They're coming. Oh, this is gonna hurt. <laughs> yeah, like that, does, does that do something? Didn't seem to. Oh, I don't even have my... I don't have anything with me. I lost it all. Oh, oh, it's still here. I think I've learned my lesson. Always use the grappling hook to get up here. Even though you can kind of grab it, you just kind of fall after. this again. This time let's not be terrible. This time let's check out this room properly because it looked really cool. Yeah, I think it's entirely silent to walk across this stuff. Ooh. Let's lockpick it. Hide now. Oh, right. They're lucid. Face is very interesting. Okay. It's this one. their face is different from no. a normal person. All right, let's check this place out. Oh, Bless 
playing a movie here. What a weird theater. That's evidence. Hey, pal! <laughs> Is that his hair? It's black. <laughs> oh, you will know. Okay. Okay. I think we're good. Does it just come when I just come here? Those kids are in for it now. Full alert. Well, I can't be slow. going to actually end this playthrough, as in the entire playthrough, right here. Uh, I mean, I could do that mission again and complete that, of course, but that would just give me a marginal amount of XP to the next level, and when I level up, it's going to open up maybe a tiny portion of the maze and give me one skill point that I can't spend on my major power until I save it up, but I could maybe spend on a minor power, which might give me something like a stack at the beginning of a level. Point is, I, just, I don't think this game is really made for me. Like I said at the beginning, I didn't know what the mix between narrative and multiplayer procedural generation kind of thing would be. It kind of threads the line, but it doesn't have enough narrative for me. I feel like it's kind of pointless to start a new mission. And it might not feel like that at all if you were playing with friends. So I'm not saying this is a bad game at all, but I'm just saying I don't think it's the right game for me who wants to play it single player. Because yeah, the, the procedural generation, you go to the same map again and again. Your goals are slightly different, but they're basically the same. Maybe it's collect a bunch of cryptograms, maybe it's collect a pigeon to hide evidence, but it's all the same thing. It's go to the point, get thing. There's nothing really different about it. There's no real interesting narrative tied up in each mission. Theoretically, you're cleaning up evidence to help out the people of the Blackout Club, I guess, but eh, it doesn't really feel like that. The only thing I I see in my future if I keep playing this game is just a grind through meaningless feeling missions to hopefully get to an end that maybe there's a narrative end to this game. I'm not sure. So definitely, definitely a game to play with friends because I think that problem would be lessened or just maybe even completely gone if you're playing with friends. I don't think I'd be focused on the narrative nearly as much if I was playing with other people. So, closing thoughts. This game is pretty good. It's definitely much better played with friends. It does have some issues that I've seen. Like, the drone major power is really quite bad. The game feels a bit janky in some ways. Just It just feels like it needs a bit more polish. But overall, I think it's a really neat setup. 
this club of teens that have all experienced blackouts, a town that's going weird, all the teens banding together to try to gather evidence and figure out what's happening with these sort of monsters that seem to be obsessed with sound underground. Like, that's really cool. This clubhouse is really cool. The game's really pretty, for the most part. I think the character models look pretty bad, but the environments look great. I love all the character everywhere. Like, look, just look at this little text here on the deck where you choose your powers. Kinda spooky, but it changes you. Don't laugh. <laughs> like, that's cute. And the voice acting, what little of it there is, is really good. Somebody told me that the main character is voiced by the person who voiced the main character in Horizon Zero Dawn. So, there's a lot to like, there's a couple things to not like, and it's definitely not the game that really fits me.